Hello and welcome back everyone. This is Tom Barry Pond. This is episode 8 of my playthrough of Fatal Frame 5 Maiden of Blackwater. Let's get the sixth drop dropped. <clears throat> Let's get the shit going. Uh, who am I playing as? Yuri Kozukata. Alright. This should be fine. Start the episode. Immortal flower. Yuri Kozukata. <clears throat> All right. Miyu Hinasaki. It says here she went to Mount Akami looking for her mother. I can use this photo to find her trace, which should show me exactly where she went. Mew. Oh, snap. <clears throat> Heading inside. Fan service. Oh, jeez. At the station. Station. Bill and Ted, it's bogus journey. Work, 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 work. I see it shining. I'm gonna pick you up, yeah. No ghosts are coming. I'm gonna kick this game's ass. Oh my goodness, cookie cutter, bad guy. This is like the twelfth time I've tried to get you dead. Oh no. Why didn't I shoot? What's going on here? How come I can't... That was really weird. Huh. Why did that happen? Run for it! Get back over here, then turn around, yeah! I see both of you punks, come get it! Come get it! Hello, my friend. He's yawning. He's a little tired. <clears throat> Come on, mine. Do what you gotta do, mine. Bet you can't get closer than that. Where goes the ghost? Holy crap. Uh oh. Let's level up my camera. I gotta be able to do that by now, right? Enhancements. Oh yeah, make it more powerful. Shit yeah. I don't care about any of the other uh, <clears throat> enhancements at all. I just want to get the power all the way gone up. What ish? Uh, what ish this? All right. Got one little thing over here. I'd like to pick it up, please. No ghost hands. No ghost hands. They've been creeping me out lately. Alright. 
Yeah, that's how you walk. Jeez. So slow. Kind of want to see what's on the other side of this thing. Morbid curiosity. What can I say? And you can't get there. <laughs> could have thought I could, man. Thought I could. I see a sparkly object. Taking so long to reach for it. Note from you. My mother left when I was three years old. I barely remember her. She hugged me, and then she disappeared into the sunset. There was nothing I could do. I cried staring at the sunset. Why did I just watch her go? Why did I let her go? I can't just wait for her. I have to go. There are things I want to tell her when I see her. All right. Nobody cares. A light is glowing dimly on the driver's console. It looks like the power is on. I could use the control panel to get the car, cable car running. So sketch, so sketch. There should be a, a, con a ghost conductor. I have a feeling it's only going to move like three feet. <clears throat> Processing. <laughs> Ephemeral station. So we just stepped into the land of ghosts. I like the word ephemeral. Reminds me of one of my favorite Chrono Cross songs, Ephemeral Memory. Sometimes when I know I need to cry. I will listen to that song and the tears will just flow. I know it's really depressing, but sometimes I feel good after a good cry, you know? Like when it's been, oh shoot, when it's been like years and you just know you need to cry. Like, man, I haven't cried in like four years. Ephemeral memory, bam, crying. <clears throat> I wonder if anybody else out there has like trigger songs, songs that just automatically make them break down and cry. I think for me it like touches all these memories of um, like maybe junior high or high school. <clears throat> it doesn't really depress me, it just uh, stirs something inside. It's like I was super happy when I was learning that kind of music and it's like uh, a good cry, not like a, what, what do they say in Lord of the Rings? Not all tears are of an evil. So. I stand by that. Glad I came in this room instead of just following that ghost. But a lot of shit in here. Alright, let's go. You need some pants. Oh, follow the ghost, you know. Over there. This place looks kind of creepy too. Everything in this game is so creep. So damn creepy, creepy. Let's take a look at this map. Oh, I'm just gonna follow the ghost on this one. Don't trust it. I don't trust it. Mew Hinasaki entering the shrine. Shrine of the Ephemeral. Yeah, I gathered that. It's kind of a shame they don't have like hidden ghosts like they did in the original game. You gotta like hunt them down, find them. Ooh, it's a courtyard. Alright. 
It's the second time I thought I saw something out of the corner of my eye there. Oh, what? Oh. Gotcha. That's pretty good. Not bad at all. Oh, it's so intense! Oh no, what has it done to me? Oh, look at my life! It's like so gone! Yo, that's not cool. I just got murked by like one hit. What the fuck was that? Oh, I can't even move. Oh my goodness. Should I even use an item? Wow, that shit really hurt. This is a heavy duty ghost. I think I'm gonna switch it up then. That was rude. <laughs> Fuck! It's so hard to like train on her. Why can I not back up? I'm still moving crazy slow. I don't like this shit at all. What? Now she's just gone? What the puck was that all about? That was terrible. Yo, it does that all the time too. You're right next to the fucking item. <gasps> Fuck off me. And I finally picked up the item. Yo, what the fuck? This is just the courtyard. We haven't even gotten into the place yet. It's getting harder, man. The capture window for that fatal frame with that previous enemy was rough. Got a couple items laying around. <coughs> a mirror stone. Going through the door. The smallest hallway ever. In the door. Creepy. Can 
kind of want to see where the old lady went though. Aww. Oh, there's no lead. Shrine Maiden in a room. It's totally normal, totally cool. Nothing wrong with that. Looks like a repeat of that previous hallway. Ghost man. Oh, we're getting into the deep water now, man. Does it mean there's something behind me? I feel like we're heading towards the place at the start of the game. Yeah, we are. Holy shit. This is not going to be good. Opening on the roof there. Something in the picture. There's light pouring down from the ceiling. Alright, so I gotta open that, I guess. Alright. Okay, see now I don't know where to go. Maybe upstairs, like it said. Okie dokie, smokey. Let's see what's around the corner here. Yeah. So it looks like we're behind. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. Tell us to stay in there. Ooh, mist. That's never a good sign. I remember that. Damn, I'm scared to go now. Uh, upstairs. That one's blocked off. Um, fuck it. Let's just keep going. An item. Powerful force. <clears throat> to 
can't come this way either. Bunk that, bro. Run. Let's take a look. Maybe I can find out where Abuela went. Okay. This feels new. Why is that? Okay, there's a door to the right. Okie dokie. Oh, so creep! Oh, and it's hard to move, too. Fucking bullshit. Oh, but of course. ship around me too? Oh my god, there's multiple ones. Is that what it is? Yep! Oh, it's the same one. No, it's not! There's two of them for sure. Come on, man. Let me circle. Alright. That... Ah, oh, too soon. Come on, man. All right, fuck you. So creepy, so creep. Is she dead? Or is she not dead? Okay. Scary, son. Alright, where did it come from? Alright, go the other way. Right. Right. She is sopping wet, man. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh no. That's kind of lame. Like it wouldn't let me go there before, now it is. Oh wait, I'm looking at the wrong part of the map. <clears throat> Shit looks too familiar. This looks like a door, but it's not. Unlock somehow. 
some horse shit. Damn, I came this way for fucking nothing, I guess. Under the Hall of Lanterns. So from here is where I need to... Ooh, there's a door right there I haven't gone in. Pain in the buttocks. Again? Fuck you. I think it's because my little flower is overreacting. I'm not fighting them again. Not if I can help it. It's a waste of time. Oh, well, I'm still gonna keep following me. Bullshit. Sound like they're busting nose. Uh. Fuck off me. Okay. Yeah, take forever to go through the tiny fucking opening there. All right, keep going straight. Come on, bruh. the fucking item. Of course. Of course. Oh shit. The black water must not be allowed to overflow. The black water is the netherworld itself. <clears throat> Should the pure water ever be tainted by the black water, a calamity shall surely occur. The world of living shall become the netherworld. The souls of man shall rot, and those who would return to water shall become the dead. The water, black water must not be allowed to overflow. <clears throat> Can't wait to hear that same message about 20 more times now. All right. Proceed. Proceda. Being held clothes with a fucking force. So I've done all this shit for nothing. Come through. Oh, <laughs> Hey. All right. Got to love it. Let's go upstairs. Up the stairs. Damn it. Before I do this other stuff down here. That's a ghost. Could have swore it was. Oh, that was creepy looking. Can't leave any stones unturned. I, I must know. Okay. Of course. Better heal. Get the urge to herbal. Alright.
What am I looking at here? Too early. There wasn't nothing I could do about that. <laughs> Was this a staring contest? So, all these areas that... Okay, so let's try going upstairs. I gotta take those embers again, but I don't want to. But... Because I don't have too many of them. But that should slow down the frequency of our ghost encounters. Right? Goddamn. Straight ahead, I haven't been there. Shrine Maiden in a room. Writings on glancing. Shrine Maiden's glance allows her to see the hearts of those returning to the water. The Maidens take their pain, their sins, and all their secrets to ease their passing. Maidens whose hearts are full are made into pillars. The secrets taken on by the Shrine Maidens are sealed in the reliquaries with them, that they might uh, never find their way back outside. Okay. Mm. Oh shit. That's not good. She's blind. Still didn't capture it. Son of a bitch. God damn it. Too early. Back. Let's try one of these. Oh no! Oh no! Fuck, man! It's really not that intuitive. Fuck you, dude! Fuck! That should be the time! Get the fuck off of me. healing item again. Am I wrong? I mean, it looks like I you're supposed to take the the shot way before it says you should. Are you done? I think I'm supposed to touch it. Piece of shit. Alright. Yeah, I get it. I 
Damn it, there's a door back here I didn't see. Shit. I guess I'll have to double back if need. Ah, I should just go back and see what it's all about. I hate it when I do stuff like that. I could have swore I was accounting for every door. This reminds me of Fatal Frame 2. <gasps> Fucking hell. <sighs> Those who are to be pillars are placed in two reliquaries filled with black water. No shit! The maiden <laughs> lays within the black water. This is not death, but an eternal sleep. She shall not age, but stays as she was as an immortal flower. Sleeping in the black water brings dreams of death endlessly repeating. When the maiden can stand no more, her body dissolves and her role as a pillar is, in is ended. Only the strongest maidens become an immortal flower. Via this eternal suffering, we become eternal. Such is our role in appeasing the shadow spring. Whoa. That guy looks serious. Whoa, he scared me. That was a good shot then. Oh my goodness. What in the world is going on? I need to get a fatal frame on him. Come on. He disappeared? Alright. Oh shit. Okay. Alright, I just gotta take a picture of him. Why does that always happen? Oh. Didn't do shit. What? What else is going on around here? These arrows are really misleading too. Super strong film. That was a pretty tough uh, ghost, I must say.
what you're gonna show me. Okay, I remember that room. I don't remember how to get there though. What is that? Boat? Breaking my neck to try to see this damn thing. Okay. Great, we're getting like three different visions here. What the fuck's going on? The lattice window. All three of them, huh? Match the photos. Alright, well that's it for episode 8. I went on a little bit longer than I expected, but I'll be right back with episode 9 because it's pretty much already recorded. Alright, later guys.